Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Alfar here and today we're going to talk about the Back 4 Blood beta and what's in store for the players on PC. As always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. First, let's talk about what's included in the beta. So to start off with, there'll be two PvE campaign maps, two PvP swarm mode maps, five playable cleaners, six playable ridden, Fort Hope communal hub, and all weapons and gears will be available. It'll be cross-gen, and cross play now if you want to know more about the ridden and the cleaners and fort hope i have a ton of videos on my channel you can check out and i'll put them in the card above and the link in the description below so the open beta will be available during two separate time periods the first time period is from august 5th to the 9th which is for the early access players there's four ways you can get the early access beta the first is if you played the alpha in december you'll be granted early access entry in your email that you use to sign up for the alpha the second way is to pre-order any edition before august 5th and you'll receive either a code via email or it'll automatically allow you to install the beta depending on which platform you're on. The third way is to register on the Back 4 Blood website for a chance to get into the early access portion of the beta, but it is not guaranteed. The fourth and final way is geared toward PC players and I'll put a link in the description of everything I'm about to explain on this way. So basically you need to go to the alienwarearena.com website and create an Alienware Arena account. You click the get key link. Now you have to be lucky because most likely they ran out depending on when you watch this video. But if you do get a key, just follow the on-screen instructions and insert your key. So here's a graphic of all the launch times around the world for the Back 4 Blood open beta. I'll be streaming on my Twitch channel at Alfaro POV at 3 p.m. New York time. So depending on where you live, I hope you could drop by and say what's up. I'll have Twitch drops enabled so you'll earn a Twitch drop after watching 60 minutes of my stream. Now let's move on to what Back 4 Blood has in store for PC players. So PC players will have 4K graphics, uncapped frame rate, NVIDIA DLSS, ultra wide and multi monitor support, and crossplay. They will also have multiple customization options. Now, if we pause the video right here, we can see a sample of the options they're referring to. So at the top, you can see it says anti aliasing, NVIDIA DLSS, motion blur, chromatic aberration, adaptive FX quality, field of view, V-Sync, and then you have quality and it's set to custom and below the quality settings, it has post processing quality, texture quality, effects quality, shadow quality, and then the last one is foliage quality. And under that, you can see it says brightness, but it doesn't show us, you know, the settings because obviously this is just a preview. So depending on your PC specs will depend on what quality you have to set these settings to make your game run smooth. Now, here are the recommended PC specs for the open beta. Pause the video so that you can quickly compare your specs to what's recommended. Now, if you're on Mac and you don't have a console or a PC, you still have a chance to play the beta. Back in December when the alpha was released, I was playing and streaming on my MacBook Pro using Bootcamp to run Windows 10. Of course, I had to run all the graphic settings on low, but I was still able to play it and enjoy it. Well, that's all the information I got for you all today. If you need someone to play with during the open beta, just send me a message through one of my social media pages and I'll get back to you. As always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. 